In today's video, I wanna share with you the software I'm using to make sure I always have space on the hard disk of my Mac. It's called Clean My Mac. Let's go. Hey everybody, what's up? If you're a designer like me, or even if you're not a designer, maybe you're a content creator or a video Graffer or something like that, you might use a lot of content and a lot of heavy files on your computer. That's That would happen to me and my hardest used to um, fill up really, really quickly and I would always get to the last, you know, last beats of uh, free space on my hard disk, which would make my computer slower. And I was looking for a software that would help me always clean up, understand what's taken up most of my space, understand what I can get rid of, and just make sure that my computer runs smoothly. So I was making, like, I think it was over a year ago, I was making kind of a research on the internet to find out what is the best software. Honestly, a lot of them kind of look scammy and, and I was not sure. Eventually, I went down with a premium software called Clean My Mac, which cost, I don't remember how much it cost, but I, I bought the license and I'm actually so happy with it that I wanna share with you right now, show you how it looks, show you how I'm using it. And basically it's so simple, but it's really, really valuable in helping me solve that problem, making sure that I always have enough space for everything I need on my hard disk. So let's jump into it. So basically, Clean My Mac sits here uh, on basically my, the dashboard of my Mac and it's really easy to just click in and see how much space I have left on my main hard drive. Hard drive. And as I said, because I'm working with video with images, this might look like a lot right now. It might end up in like a day or two. So from a first glance, you can see how much there is here. And also I just cleaned this up. There was like 20 gigabytes in the trash can. So really quickly to see how big is the trash can and click empty to make sure that it's empty. If you wanna really uh, clean up stuff, you launch the software, launch Clean My Mac. And uh, basically you just click the scan button. So let me click this and uh, let's fast forward to seeing what happens at the end of it. All right, so in this cleanup, um, the software has found that I can clean up a hundred, like 11 and a half gigabytes, which might sound like a lot. Sometimes it comes up with something like 50 gigabytes, which was really like a lot of it. And as you can see, a lot of it came from like the system junk, photo junk. I don't really use uh, the photos app or the mail app. So, and iTunes. So those usually are not uh, relevant, but usually the system specifically, if you're working a lot with video editing, so working in Premiere creates a lot of temp files. Those files are huge and can fill up your hard drive. And so using this can really clean up all those temp files really, really quickly. Also large and old files really helps you to quickly review where is the big, so notice that I have here some folders which are 42 gigabytes and I can really quickly see this and say, hey, uh, do I actually need this? And I can select them and remove them from here. Um, so usually what I do is I just click the clean, it cleans up and uh, yep, oh, I have to create uh, kill Chrome for this. So yeah, I can kill Chrome. Don't think that we need it right now. Um, anyway, this cleans up. Also one more thing, this is gonna take um, not as long as the scanning, but um, still. One more thing that I like about the software is that it has kind of extra uh, utilities here. And the one that I actually use is, so this is cleaned up. Thank you for showing me uh, the Chrome again. Um, the uninstaller, which allows you to actually uninstall properly the software that you have on your computer, because usually uh, Mac doesn't have natively uh, uninstaller. If the software doesn't have one, you could just throw it in the trash can and then it kind of leaves junk on your computer. So using this uninstaller, make sure that you really clean up the stuff that you don't need. Also, you can see how much space each, um, each program software takes for, uh, on your hardware. Die. So this is how I use it. It's just the nice thing about this that even if you know the hard drive is not fully full and I feel like the slowness of the computer, it will once in two weeks maybe it will send me a prompt like, hey, it's time to clean your Mac. I'll just click that button. It'll be like five minutes. Then my hard drive is cleaner, computer is faster, and really, really like this. So very much recommended. I think it's worth, you know, that one time spend. It's not a subscription or anything. So to me, it was very much worth the money. Hope this was valuable for you. I'll see you in the next video.